Oh, Julie, uh, one more thing. Uh, does Mr. Thackeray have a photographer in mind to take a picture of the house? Want me to get the photographer? Mr. Thackeray stressed the point that you get a good photographer because his deal will probably hinge on how well the picture turns out. Oh, Julie, look, look, you realize the house doesn't look like much. Yeah, well, I could do that. Oh, all right, I'll go over and straighten up the front of the house as best I can. Oh, and Julie, I thought one more... What's that happening? Ten cents, three minutes. Just, just a second. Hold a second. Just a second, honey. All right. Here's ten cents. Julie, Julie. Oh, oh, you didn't have any more to tell me? <laughs> Bye. keep house around here? Well, I, I was just straightening up a bit. We, we intend to make a picture of the place. Well, well, now, ain't that nice? I suppose we're going to be featured on the cover of uh, uh, House Beautiful, huh? Well, no, not exactly. Oh, excuse me, I, I'm Robert S. Beanblossom of the Thackeray Realty Company. The Thackeray Re Now, wait a minute, bud. Who do you think you're rushing? I got Thackeray's notice to move. But I got two more days, so don't get my blood pressure up. No, 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 you don't understand. See, we're not asking you to move. There's a possibility of a sale. Mr. Thatcher wants to get a nice picture of the place. <laughs> Take a Rembrandt to sell this dump. Well, uh, Mr. Thatcher thought if we got a photographer who did good work. Well, excuse me, you don't happen to know a good photographer, do you? Uh, I know the best. I work in the movie studios. Well, we need this picture right away. You know, you know, I'd kind of like to see the old place look good for once myself. Hey, uh, if he wants good service, a first-class job, why don't he try Hesse? Hesse? Who's he? Hesse. Paul Hesse. He can shoot anything. He'll make this cracker box look like it came off the wedding cake. Oh, well, perhaps I should contact him. I'll look him up and give him a ring. Mm. Well, uh, there's a phone booth at the drugstore just down the block. I was on my way. Come on, I'll walk you down. Oh, oh no, don't bother. Ah, bother, bother. Got nothing else to do. I want a pack of cigarettes oh, anyway. very nice. All right, come on. What was that name again? Hesse, Paul Hesse. He's got his own face. And be sure it's him personally takes the pixie. Uh-huh. Hanson, Henderson. Here it is, Hesse. Paul Hesse, uh, Hillside, 7283. That's it, that's it. Down the Hollywood area. Yeah. Okay. Hillside, 7283. Don't answer, huh? Have yet. He may be out on another job. Yeah, yeah, that's possible. Good afternoon, Paul Hussey Studios. Miss Bennett speaking. Oh, how do you do? Uh, uh, this is Robert S. Bean Blossom of the Thackeray Realty Company. Uh, may I speak to Mr. Hussey? That's practically impossible. Can I help you? Well, I, I don't know. I want to get a house photograph. Bel Air, Westwood, Coldwater Canyon. <laughs> well, no, not exactly. Oh, a suburban project. Well, yes, I guess you might call it that. Uh, of course, we want to get as good a job as possible, and I want to be sure that Mr. Hesse can handle it. See, I have to recommend it to my boss. Can Mr. Hesse photograph a house? I think so. He was fairly successful with Buckingham Palace, the Taj Mahal, and the White House. The White House? He's got some pretty good references. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, the address is 523 Maple Street. Yes, that's right. Uh, would you please impress upon Mr. Hesse that we want to get as good a picture as possible? It may mean a sale. Right. All right. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, yeah. You think this guy Hesse can cut the mustard, huh? Well, the girl said he did pretty well with the Taj Mahal. Taj, Taj Mahal. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That must be that, uh, that new motel out on Ventura Boulevard, huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks very much for your kindness. Ah, uh, forget it. Glad to help. Cigarette? Oh, thanks. 
Uh, I I've got another party to see, uh, but I'll be back at the house as soon as I can. I want to be around when they snap the picture. Yeah, sure, I don't blame you. That way you can kind of, kind of keep them on the ball, huh? Yeah, I don't want them to think it's just another job. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Fine, thanks. All right. right down in front here and look Jim a couple of reflectors over in there now don't make them too hot and that door boys I tell you what we do we'll have to uh, lighten it up just a little excuse me could you pardon me could you tell me who? look if you don't mind would you look well somebody here please tell me who's in charge I'm the one who ordered this picture well, thank you thank you very much Excuse me, Mr. Hesse, I, I've got to... I'm not Mr. Hesse, I'm Roger Melford, Mr. Hesse's director. That's good right there, boys, that's the director? Fine. Yes, well, who did you think I was with this megaphone, Rudy Valley? A <laughs> uh, little more downstage on the palm. Oh, I'm Robert S. Bean Blossom. That's and good, I, right I, there, that's good, yes. I didn't expect you to go to all this trouble, uh, you see, I No didn't... trouble, no trouble. Uh, uh, let's have a couple of more reflectors right over in here, boys. Th th this looks awfully expensive. How much is it going to cost? Oh, this is one of the cheapest jobs we've had in months. Uh, that's good, Harry, leave it right there. How cheap? Oh, around $23.50. Bill, will you let me have just a little more shrubbery down front here, please? Yeah, I, I, I don't know if we can... <laughs> What's the matter? Mr. Hess is arriving. Everything is in readiness, Mr. Hesse. Mr. Mr. <laughs> Boy, his job certainly snap, isn't it? <laughs> oh. oh. I'm just hoping the picture turns out all right. Oh, I bet it does. All the trouble they went to. Well, it sounds good. I'm so glad you hired a professional photographer instead yeah. of trying to do it yourself. That's right. Hesse, I know I've heard that name before. Oh, I'm sure he's good, Julie. Mr. Gregg, the man who lives in the house, works in the movie studios. He recommended it. Oh, hello, Mr. Becker. Oh, Bob, glad to see you got back. Well, how'd you make out of that picture of the Maple Street house? I'll take care of it. Good. When do we have the photograph? This afternoon, I hope. So soon? Well, the outfit I got specializes in service. Well, I just hope they give us a halfway decent job. May I help you? Photograph. Paul A. Hesse Studios. Say, isn't that a wonderful tune? Oh, Bob, you were so right. This is just beautiful. My gosh, you did a good job. It doesn't even look like the same house, Julie. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, Mr. Thackeray, here's the picture. Hmm? Something. Oh. Huh? Hey, wait a minute. This isn't the Maple Street house. They must have sent the wrong photograph. Well, Mr. Thackeray, that's it. See, they fixed it up so it was a photograph like that. Say. <laughs> that's really something. I think I'll up the ante on this place. <laughs> Gee, they gave us such wonderful service. I'd like to send them a check right away. How much is the bill, Julie? Mr. Thackeray. Look at this. $2,356. Bean Blossom, that surely is not the price they quoted you. Well, well the man said it'd be about $2,350, but I, I naturally... Oh, well, Mr. Thackeray, there must have been a mistake. Oh, that, that's it, a mistake. Yes, they probably put the decimal point in the wrong place. That, that's it, wrong place, sure. Bean Blossom, get them on that phone and straighten this out right away. $2,356. Hello, operator. G give me $2,300... Excuse me, I can dial it. $2,356. Hey, Julie, the house itself isn't worth that much. Now, Bean Blossom, when you get him on that phone, be firm. Yes, sir. Hello? Uh, this is Robert S. Bean Blossom of the Thackeray Realty Cup. Uh, yes, we got the photograph. We, we, we have the bill here. No, 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 the color is beautiful. <laughs> the, the finish is excellent. Bean Blossom, come to the point. Yes, sir. Hello? Uh, I mean, uh, look, miss. 
Um, we, we have your bill here, and we think there's a mistake. All right. Y yes, I I'll hold on. She's checking it. She better. Oh, I'm sure it was a mistake. Judy, would you like to talk to her? Stay on there, Bean Blossom. Hello? Yes? <laughs> oh, you did make a mistake. <laughs> Thank heaven for that. <laughs> I'm sure it couldn't be. <laughs> Hello? Yes. What? $2,430? Oh, the tax? She forgot to add the tax. <laughs> Paul Hesse Studios, Miss Bennett speaking. No, I'm sorry, Mr. Hesse cannot be disturbed. I'm awfully sorry, I wouldn't dare disturb Mr. Hesse now. That's right, goodbye. Yes? Oh, how do you do? Uh, would you tell Mr. Hesse that Robert S. Bean Blossom is here to see him? Mr. Hesse is photographing one of our top movie stars. And all you want me to do is to walk in there and tell him Robert S. Bean Blossom is here. Well, I didn't. All right, I'll just wait. I'll browse through one of these magazines. This may come as a bit of a shock to you, Mr. Bean Blossom. But if you expect to wait until you see Mr. Hesse, you'll have to browse through the entire public library. Well, I must see Mr. Hesse. You see, it's, it's uh, about this bill for the picture he took. We never disturb Mr. Hesse with money matters. However, if you wish to pay your bill, I can arrange an appointment for you with our business head, Miss Flores. No, you don't understand. See, I have to see Mr. Hesse personally. I understand. <laughs> Paul Hesse Studios. One moment, please. Thackeray Realty calling. Hello, this is Mr. Thackeray. Have you seen Mr. Bean Blossom around there? Who? <laughs> Bean Blossom? Well, that's me. You. Hello? Hello, Bob. How'd you make out with Mr. Hesse? What? You're still in the waiting room? Don't give me any of those excuses, Bean Blossom. You get in there to see Mr. Hesse even if you have to fight your way past that receptionist. Uh, yeah, yes, sir, Mr. Thackeray. Now, look here, miss. Yes? Th this bill has just got to be settled. I can't stay my, here all... My. Busy, busy, busy. Miss Bennett, if there's any calls for me, give them to me in the lab. Oh, Mr. Belford. Huh? Excuse me, you, you remember me. I'm Robert S. Bean Blossom of the Thackeray Realty. I was out at the Maple Street house. I must say, I can't recognize you. Well, I, I'm paying for the picture. Oh, that's different. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> well, what I should say is that Mr. Thackeray is paying for the picture. Well, just so one of you pays. Yes. Uh, you, you charged us over $2,000. Well? Well, recently we had a picture made at the Realty Convention with 300 people in it, and the man only charged $20. Uh, of course, I know Mr. Hesse is a wonderful photographer and all that, but $2,000 for one picture. We're trying to operate a business. Mr. Bean Blossom, business doesn't enter into this. When the creative genius of Mr. Hesse is put into motion, no price is too high. Come, let me show you something. This one is valued at $50,000. Thrilling, isn't it? For your edification, Mr. Bean Blossom, I shall try to interpret the meaning of this masterpiece. <laughs> but please, don't fight me. All I want to do is adjust the bill. Mr. Bean Blossom, if you can dismiss such commercial thoughts from your mind for one moment, I shall proceed. Thank you. First of all, modern photography rejects trivia and retains the essential. In this striking example, we see the heartbroken Indian maiden searching through the dense forest for her young brain. But alas, she abandons the search, and heartbroken she falls to the ground, realizing that her sweetheart is nowhere in sight. <gasps> Uh, well, that's very interesting. Uh, could we get back to the bill now? Oh, crass, crass, crass. At a moment like this, how could you be so mundane? Well, crass or not, I work for a real estate company and I gotta get this bill settled. Oh, will you excuse me? M 
Mr. Melford. I didn't come here to oh, upset anyone. Please, but... not, not when I'm drinking. Yes. Yes, Mr. Melford's here. Yes, Mr. Hesse. Mr. Hesse would like to see you in the main studio right away. Thank heavens. Mr. Melford, I'll go in with you if you don't mind. I can talk to him about the bill. Mr. Bean Blossom, the price we charged you is the price you'll pay. And if you don't stop annoying us, I shall summon our lawyers. Well, we've got lawyers too, you know. Will you kindly remove yourself from our reception room? You're clashing with our color scheme. <laughs> Paul Hesse Studios. Who? Oh, Mr. Bean Blossom, it's for you again. Oh, thank you. Hello? Yes, Mr. Thackeray. No, I'm still in the waiting room. Did he hang up? No, he's still there. Mr. Mr. Thackeray. Mr. Thackeray, it's, it's not that easy. Well, at least talk to somebody about it. Mr. Melford. See, they're lawyers. You stay right where you are, Bean Blossom. I'll be right down there. Maybe the two of us can straighten this mess out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'll wait. Miss, I hate to bother you, but, but you... <laughs> oh, Miss Drake, please, let us explain. You can't leave now, don't you? Get out of my way. Oh. You could not keep me here with oh. all the king's horses. Oh. With all the king's... Man. <laughs> where, where have you been hiding all this time? Oh, that's more like it, much more. Oh, Miss Drake, not him. Get lost, Pipsqueak. <laughs> Hip squeak. Well, I like that. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Where's Bean Blossom? Judy, if he's run out on this, I'll... Oh, Mr. Thackeray, he wouldn't do that. Come on, I'm going to talk to Hesse myself. No! No! You can't go in there! Why? <gasps> What's the matter? Gregory, did you see what I saw? What? Look. No, 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 Mr. Bean Blossom. You're not afraid of Miss Drake. She uses Starlight Bouquet soap and she's irresistible. Mr. Hesse, are you ready? Be with you in a moment. Mr. Bean Blossom, yes. something bothering you? Lean in. <laughs> now. Uncross your eyes. <laughs> How'd he get into this? I'm going to stop no, it. No, no, wait, Mr. Thackeray. Bob has a plan, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. Bob. Yes, Miss Trey. Call me Lucella. Tell me all about yourself. Oh, well, I, I sell real estate. Mm, I'm perfectly thrilling. <laughs> Is your work very dangerous? Well, it's according to how you look at it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Gosh, I, I like that soap. Mr. Thackeray, huh? maybe you should interfere. No, no, Julie. As you said, Bob has a plan. A hundred foot lot is much more difficult to handle in this respect than a fifty foot lot. Of course, it's all according to the restrictions. Oh, fascinating. Yes. <laughs> ah, that's more like it, Bean Blossom. Keep it romantic. Don't move. Hmm, real estate does something to you, doesn't it? <laughs> well, it got me where I am. Hmm, yes, I know. <laughs> um, how would you like to play in a movie with me? A movie? 
Mm-hmm. We'd be doing scenes like this all day long. All day? Uh, first I'd grab you like this, oh. and then I'd... Oh, uh, uh, Mr. Bean Blossom. Mr. Bean Blossom. Yeah, 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 sir. We know Miss Drake is irresistible, but let's not overdo it, shall we? I'm sorry, I must... Let's try it again, and take it a little easy this time. All right, here we go again. Hello, I missed you. <laughs> yeah, I, I did too. Mm -hmm. Mr. Thackeray, how far can this go? I don't know, but I'm not going to miss any of it. <laughs> I'm sorry to be so aggressive, but just that there's something about you. Maybe it's just soap. Oh, no, I don't think so. No, I don't think so either. But I'll always be grateful to Starlight Bouquet for bringing me you. Can that be our Bob? I don't know. But from now on, I'm using Starlight Bouquet. Blend that young man. Blended. That last one was perfect. Oh, thank you. Shall I take the plates over to the lab, Mr. Hesse? Yes, indeed. They're going to sell Starlight Bouquet faster than they can make it. Oh, I'm sure of that. Yes, sir. You hear that, Mr. Bean Blossom? I knew you were the man. Thank you. Oh, don't mention it. And, uh, Mr. Bean Blossom, just call me at the studio any time. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bob. Bob. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Thackeray. Uh, Bob, as much as I hate to interrupt your train of thought, how about the bill? The bill? Think back. A house on Maple Street. House on Maple Street? Oh! <laughs> oh, that. Bean Blossom. Oh, please, uh, Mr. Hesse, would you mind speaking to my friend? How do you do? How do you do? I'm Willis Thackeray. My friend Bean Blossom here seems to have forgotten about that bill for the picture you took. Well, he didn't let me forget about it. This boy drives a hard bargain. You should be proud to have such a businessman in your organization. Well, what did he do? What did he do? Before he walked on the set, he agreed to pose only if I canceled the entire bill. Canceled? You mean? That's it. Robert, my boy, I <laughs> knew you could do it. Well, thanks, old fellow. <laughs> oh, hello, Julie. What about that Drusilla Drake? Oh, that's all in the day's work. And I suppose by now the five o'clock whistle has blown. Say, that's right. How about a little overtime? <laughs> My hero. Thank you.